Hey guys, this video covers how to remove the bottom cover on a Dell XPS 15Z. So the first step is to remove the side panel over here. Now, you'll notice that there's no screws in the side panel. Um, you need to remove the SD card filler first. Now this is held in by clips on this end and this end. And I found that there's a few different tricks. Um, first way I'm going to try is with a gift card or a credit card. See if we can get underneath there. And we can't. Let's see. You don't want to pry against this plastic because this will break. This, this uh, shiny plastic, do not pry this way. So, I, I want to move this bezel as far as I can this way first. And I took a screwdriver and dragged it this, this, this direction right here. You'll notice that it actually just came right out. Sometimes it's a little more tricky, but it's held in by clips. As you can see, let's get a better shot of that. You'll see there's a clip on, on the end there and a small clip there. So it just snaps in there and that's it. You'll see behind this bezel there are two screws. We need to remove those so we'll do that now. Don't lose these screws. Um, just saying. <laughs> Keep in mind, you definitely shouldn't be working on this if you uh, don't, you know, don't have a DCSE certification for this model. Um, I mean, you can't attempt it. Any damage you do to this is not covered underneath the warranty at all, even if you have the complete care. So just keep that, keep that straight. Is if you want to attempt to open this thing up, you are, um, you're not avoiding your warranty unless you break something. If you break something, you're going to be out of pocket, and the parts on this are very expensive. Um, mainly because it uses an aluminum chassis and just because it's Dell. Uh, you'll notice the, it's, you know, it's decent quality stuff, but the, the prices on the, on the parts if you need them are fairly expensive. So the next step is remove screws here, 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 and here. Um, this is, this will almost get the bottom off. So I'm doing that now, I'm removing all these little metal screws. I've opened mine up a few times previously, so it's it should come apart fairly easy. Now this is also a refurbished version right here. So it's you can tell it's been opened before because the screws, uh, they were a little bit stripped when I got it already. So be careful not to strip them because they appear to strip easily. So once you get all these screws out, <clears throat> the easiest way I found to remove it is to release the back part and sometimes it actually pops open uh, by itself and make sure you don't apply pressure to the center right here you can end up damaging your screen so whenever you hold this thing uh, you need to take note of that now you'll see that these clips actually already are, are loose yours may not be but the easiest way is to pry this, this back area off um, and just kind of use a card. You don't want to damage the edges. And you'll notice that I just got this end free just by removing that clip down there. Now I want to kind of go on the other side. We're leaving the front for last. So we'll just kind of go across here like that. And just by running the card across, it actually pops the, uh, the base um, open. So you'll notice that I got it a little loose there. Um, we need to finish this over on this end. I'm taking taking my card, and you'll see just very gentle with it. Kind of go all the way down with your card here. Now this is almost all the way off. Now look at that; it's starting to come apart. So once you get the clips, except for the front of it over here, it's going to be it's going to be kind of loose. You need to be careful not to damage it. Now, <clears throat> to get these front clips is kind of a pain. 
I found a couple techniques. You don't have a lot of clearance with the card. So generally, I'll go around the corner down here, start sliding it across, and separate it that way. And while you're kind of uh, lift slightly upwards, you'll notice that it just snapped off there just by a, a slight movement. Now you'll notice that there are <clears throat> aluminum retaining mechanisms, uh, little clips right here. These look like they're gonna break really easily. There's one, two, three, four. Now those look like they're prone to break if you force it off. If you take it off easy, nothing will break. Uh, there's also a clip here, here, here. On the back, you have a clip here and a clip here. Now, that's why I'm saying the back's easier because they're spaced far apart. Very, so it's easier to break that part loose first. Now, on this side, you don't have any clips on the, on the uh, palm rest, but you have clips on here that snap together. So, yeah, that's how to take it off. Um, as far as the other components inside here, you know, I'm gonna go into that in detail um, in, in another video. I'm gonna split up into a few other portions just to keep it simple. So check out my other videos. It shows, uh, you know, how to swap all these parts out safely without breaking anything. That's all for now, guys. Have a good one.